let's cancel. This does say countertop here, so I'm going to hit select. Brings me right over to countertop, and I've got some countertop options here. But if I pull it down my drop down or my slide button here, I can put flooring in there. It doesn't matter. I want hardwood? Here we go. There's my new countertop. Doesn't matter what you select out here. You do not have to select a countertop item for a countertop color. Wall covering, and we do this a lot on the walls. We'll come in here and do something in the metal. And we'll just pick this one right here. Nice faux finish. Another nice faux finish. So you can come in here and have fun with the metals using them on your walls. You can do paint, you can do stone on your walls, fabrics, whatever. We're going to choose a paint. And I'm just going to pick out of the palette here something about yeah, a nice soft blue like that. Now if this isn't quite right, you're going, okay, I don't have quite the color in here. You can come to custom palette. And set it the way you want it. There we go, we got an ice scorching fuchsia. Ow, that, that hurts. Get rid of that. Nice pink. Yeah. But you can come in here and set your color just the way you want. Say, okay, this is the way we got it. This is what I like. Add to favorites. Stick them up there on our favorite list access those later. We're going to just come back over here. Choose a nice soft blue color for our walls. And you can put whatever color you want to on there. And this is our flooring. Um, let me see what do I want in my floor. We'll just do a nice hardwood. Something like that. Going to leave the ceiling the way it is, but you can come in here and change it if you'd like. And our units, metric, imperial, imperial inches, imperial feet and inches. Pick your poison, click on it when you got your poison picked, and you are ready to go. We've gone through all of our tabs. We are ready to click OK and start designing. Here we go, OK. Our grid work pops up. Now, to get our design going, just take your mouse. Our walls are already attached to the mouse. So all you got to do is come over here and just do a single left click on your mouse start moving your mouse the direction you want your walls to go when you get the length set do another single click puts in an immediate 90 degree corner on there as you drag your mouse it changes double click stops it got all my walls set out here now these are not not the walls we're going to use in this so I'm going to come through here and delete these walls delete and delete and I'm just right clicking hit kind of out of the picture here but right clicking and delete <clears throat> if for some reason you get here and you click and there's nothing in your mouse okay imagine we haven't set walls you have just got everything and there's nothing here and you can't place it don't panic all you gotta do is come right over here click on sketch button come back out here here's our wall again we're gonna delete this guy Okay, so we've got our sketch button here. We've got our um, construction line button here. There we go, there it popped up. We've got our U-shaped room, our L-shaped room, and our rectangular room. I'm just going to pick the U-shaped room. These are our three little room preset guys. I'm just going to pick this guy. You come in here, you can do it upside down, right side up, lefty, righty, however you want it. We'll just choose this guy right here. You've got A and B, A and B. Enter your poison here again. Something like that. Click OK. Here's our walls. 108 on the B, 124 on the A. This, however, is not what we're using either. So we're going to delete these guys. Delete. Delete. And one more time. And delete. There we go. Okay. So to get starting with our walls here, I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to click on my sketch icon. And I'm going to come down here. 
and I want my little design to be this direction, so I'm going to start down here in this bottom corner. I'm going to do a single left click with my mouse. Now you'll notice that as I move my mouse around here, it changes the angle of this. I want to go up. And I want this wall to be about 130 inches long. So as I come up here, 129, 130 and a quarter, 29, 7, 8, 30 and a quarter. Okay, it's just giving me grief. It's going to split between those two. That's okay. I didn't want to place it this way anyways, because there's an easier, faster way than using your mouse. So you'll notice here that as I move my mouse right here under the length, that changes. Okay. You also notice at the end of this, there's a little flashing cursor. So all you have to do is hit delete on your keyboard or backspace. I guess it's delete on Max, backspace on PC. Delete on your keyboard. Manually type in on your keyboard the length that you want, and then hit enter on your keyboard. Now you notice my wall is 100. 30 inches, you can see it right there, whoops. All right, I moved my mouse too far. All right, we're practicing, folks. Okay, one more time. Sketch, there we go. Delete on my keyboard, zero, enter. You notice that it's turned to 90 degrees and we've got a four inch length on this wall. Now this wall I want 120, so I'm just simply gonna type 120, enter on my keyboard. Again, a four, uh, a four inch wall on a 90 degree corner. This guy I want to just be 60 inches, enter on my keyboard. Now, that's all the walls we're gonna use, but we're gonna play for just another minute here. Let's say I want another wall, but I don't want it at a 90 degree angle, so I'm gonna do 48 hit tab on my keyboard, delete, delete, enter the d angle that I want, in this case, 135 inches, enter on my keyboard, and here we go. When I'm done, I hit escape on my keyboard, and there's all my walls. Now I'm gonna come up here and click on zoom to fit, so it's just a little bit bigger. Now, now that I have my walls, and we're going to play with this little wall, and we're going to look at all the features that I have in walls. So we're going to come to this wall, and you'll notice I've got room, and I've got all my default settings here. Now I've got wall, wall group number five. I played a little bit in here. Well, actually, you watch me play. Um, we, we actually have set five groups of walls. We set the very first group that we erased. It was like 300 inches long. Then we set another group with the U-shaped, then we set, um, we set another group that I deleted, then the last one I deleted, and finally this guy. So five sets of walls. That's why we're on wall group five. If we had just done this once, we'd just be on wall group one. We want to choose wall number four. We can do rotate. We're just going to start at the top and work our way down through the list here. we we'll do rotate. And now you'll notice that our mouse is now a crosshair. That means there's a function tied to the mouse. And if we look down over here, it says left click on the wall corner to select it as a rotation center. So it is telling us to pick a wall corner. Wall well, from Trace Survival 2. We've got wall corner here, wall corner here, wall corner here, wall corner here. If I choose a wall corner, that's going to be my pivot point. If I choose this wall corner out here, it's going to change the length of this wall. And I don't want that wall length to change. So we're going to click out here on my other wall corner. I'm going to click on my inside wall corner here, and that will give me my pivot point. Now as I move my mouse, it's going to move my change my angle. If I click on when I click on my mouse, it's going to stop wherever I choose. 
that's just going to stick it out there. Come back in here. Move. It's not going to work on this wall. That's for a different function. Resize. If I want to resize, just click. In and out. Extrude. You probably won't be using that. That is in our, our, our wall tutorial, though, if you ever need it. Add wall. This is going to give you the T wall. So if I click on add wall, you'll notice I got a little corner coming out here. And there's my T wall. Go back in here. Delete because I'm done with that one. And you know what? Let's do this here real quick because I can see that we're off the screen partially. There we go. Rotate this guy around here, something like that. Now you can see all of these. There we go. Okay, here we go. Add wall, we've done that one. Add a construction line. It's the same thing as add wall, except for it adds a construction line. We'll take a look at what a construction line is here in a minute. Continue wall gives you your corner, brings it right off. Just keep going. Escape on your keyboard stops it. Delete a couple of these little guys. Delete. And add to group. It's already part of our group, so we don't have to add it to group. Remove from group. It's going to take it away. See our, our walls group 5. If we move, remove it from the group, it'll be a, a separate entity. Delete. We've played with that 